Hey guys, it's layout update time. Let's get to it. So we're going to start out over here in Huntington Beach. And as you can see, we have been starting to pave in uh, reliable lumber over here. Um, I've got the interior paved over here, a little bit on this side. And I uh, had one uh, user comment, or user, <laughs> one um, viewer comment, um, that he wasn't sure if I had space for uh, unloading and loading of my center beams here. Well, the, the idea is, yes, this side will be sort of paved, um, and the rest of the facility is off layout over here. So, you know, trucks and forklifts and everything can access the cars on either side to unload them without having a car flip over. So, yeah, that is in the plans, and uh, I think way back when I was initially planning this, I actually had another person... Uh, mention the same thing so just just reinforcing i got it don't worry we're gonna get the we're gonna get this stuff paved up still needs to have a little bit of uh, obviously coloring probably gonna pave a little bit more here this is just smooth it um that i'm just laying on top and we'll let it dry up um, i mean it's pretty dry here but i gotta get a little bit more in here um into the facility and whatnot uh, before i go ahead and paint it and at jacks surfboards you can see we've got our jacks surfboard sign i pulled that off of uh i don't know their website or something like that and i just printed it out stuck it on the side there so that's looking good i'm um, not sure if i had the vans shop in the last update but uh i went ahead and at least put it on a piece of card like that and uh, we're gonna go ahead and stick it in there somehow like that There'll be a little retaining wall here that's still got to get uh, decorated and whatnot. And then we still got to get the ground cover over in here and figure out how we're going to do this little street area right here. Um, I think I'm going to use this street. I might cut this big palm tree off, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, one of the other things I started doing is in, uh, in Southern California, we have these funky looking pine trees. Um, and there's quite a few of them in the Huntington Beach and Orange County in general. So this is actually one of my little twigs that I found while I was walking the dog um, the other week. And then I just took a bunch of spare little pieces of super tree, um, kind of stuck them on, you know, sprayed it with some glue, and then used, I think that's seven millimeter um, grass. And I just kind of stuck that all in there and then spray painted it green and uh, yeah, they, they actually look like that, believe it or not. It doesn't look like your typical pine tree. It's one of these weird looking things. It's got, they have very odd shapes to them. And uh, yeah, but that one's, that's my first attempt. Um, I think it needs a little bit more glue because a lot of the needles are still falling off over here. And uh, let's see, we did a little bit of grass work right here just to break the scene up a little tiny bit. And there's our train from our last... Uh, operating session. I was doing some photography over here, just taking a look, see how things are looking. Um, yeah, so just a little bit of groundwork there. Uh, I really want to get something happening over here because it's just so damn plain. Um, but uh, that'll be next after we finish Huntington Beach because this section here is Westminster with SoCal Edison in the area. And then the other thing I've been working on is fencing here. So we'll take a closer look at that in a second because um, I think I mentioned this fence that I was doing uh, before and uh, I didn't like the way it came out. It's uh, I was using, uh, you know, evergreen styrene uh, tubes, 223 I think is the number. I think they came out a little bit too big looking, especially if you scale it with like the person sitting here next to the car those fence tubes just look a little bit too big. Um, so I was trying to figure out what else to do. And one of the other things I had tried is taking some, uh, I guess you call it chicken wire or garden, you know, fencing type of stuff and actually trimming it. And let me get a good shot of this for you here. Um, this still needs a little bit of touch up, but what I did was um, just cut a section out, left some of the section on top so that I could bend it, put a little barbed wire kind of thing on top of there. 
Let me see if I can give you a good shot of it. Uh, I think it came out looking pretty good. I'm trying to hold it steady for you here, even with the steady uh, arm. But um, yeah, it looks all right. It's uh, we'll go we'll go take a look at the workbench here in a minute. I'll show you exactly how I did that. But let's zoom out here for a second, and we're gonna we'll talk about the construction of the fence here in a minute, because I kind of want to talk about this end of the layout, or it's really the center part of the layout. Let me focus that in for you. Um, so that is, I'll back up over here so you can kind of get the get the big picture. Yes, camera, we got it. It's bright out. Come on. Okay, that'll, that'll have to do. So um, over here is where I'm going to lock the freaking exposure. Okay, there we go. Hopefully we can keep it steady there. So the train comes in here uh, into Cerritos, La Mirada, works its way around um, into Stanton, uh, and then Westminster, and then into Huntington Beach over here. And if we take a look at my map right here, we'll make sure it's focused. Um, so here's what we're modeling. Here's Huntington Beach down here with uh, reliable lumber, Surfer's Outlet, SoCal Edison. This little area right here is uh, Westminster, uh, where I have labeled Sanford and Son Salvage, that's Stanton. And you go through Anaheim, Disneyland is like right at the tip of my finger right there. And it follows the five freeway up here into, uh, you know, Buena Park, um, Cerritos, La Mirada. I don't think it's labeled on here. There's La Mirada right there. Um, but that's where the, uh, the first industries that we come into, I'm kind of doing this backwards. And then up here at uh, Southeast LA is uh, Los Nitos, uh, the UP yard. So that's kind of where we start out. We head our way down here, um, hit all of our first industries, come around Anaheim, Stanton, and then, like I said, all the way down into Huntington Beach. But um, I was kind of thinking about it, and, you know, here we are coming into Stanton, Anaheim, Stanton, and this is supposed to be my Sanford and Sons, a little pun there on the show, um, from the 70s and 80s, um, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. I think because this thing's kind of a pain in the butt to service, um, just because there's not a lot of space over here, and moving gondolas, even like three or four of them in and out, I actually end up running into the intersection here. It's a little tight, you know, I'm, I'm limited on space here, and the other thing is, um, you kind of want to have some open space, right? I don't want to have an industry every single, you know, spot. And so what I think I'm going to do is this end between there and there, um, this is just going to be a scenic only area. I'm going to get rid of the spur here, I think. Um, you know, put a couple roads right here, maybe at least one road. I'm not quite sure how I'll do that, but, uh, and then just have scenery because it does run, like I said, we run out of, uh, La Mirada here on this end and technically into Anaheim and Stanton before we get into Westminster and it'll make a, a sort of a nice break between all of the industries here on the north side um, that we'll be switching out and then and there's a, it, it kind of gives it like makes the layout feel bigger if you just have some area there that you the train is running through um, you know, without any industries. And, and it's kind of nice because it'll be scenic, like I said, with another street, probably. And uh, it'll give us a sort of nice rail fanning spots where you could see the train running through uh, this whole section. So that, that's the plan um, after a lot of thought and just kind of screwing around with the railroad and doing operations on it and seeing how things work. Um, I think that's a good idea and it'll kind of make the thing look bigger right all right um so let's see other than just a few little spots where i've been planting some grass uh, i know i kind of neglected uh, this section right here because uh, i got all into doing huntington beach but i started laying a little bit of grass tufts here at the bottom of our uh, shasta beverage here just started putting a little bit of grass here 
a uh, little bit of grass right over here along the the edge I'm trying to kind of unify everything um, still got to work on my little tree area here a little hilly area um, just to blend it all in you know make sure it uh, fits fits the scene right okay let's jump over to the workbench and uh wow holy smokes let's uh let's let the camera adjust over here yes puppy dogs and uh it's a it's a nice balmy uh, december day over here got the dog sitting around chilling out staying warm all right let's pop back in here uh, we'll take a look at the fencing so uh here's basically what I have been using. Um, I'll keep it down here so you can see it, but you can see it's just basically a section of, you know, chicken wire, whatever you want to call it. I've cut it out, sort of snipped off every other one on top and on bottom. So the bottom ones will be uh, stuck into the ground. Uh, the top ones here, you just kind of bend them, right? And then what I got was uh, if you go to like Michael's, you know, craft store or anything like that, and you go to the section where they have like jewelry making stuff, they have all sorts of little cables and stuff. And I get this stuff. I know I won't be able to focus very well on it, but um, it's actually like a twine. So it almost like looks like barbed wire. And then what I did is I took that, wrapped it around my... Um, my little skewer right there to come up with here's a small section of uh just a little coil piece right and then so when that goes on the top it's going to be the barbed wire um i thought about there's another piece of it i thought about going like straight across you know and gluing each little section but this actually came out a lot easier to do because uh like i said you just coil it around the stick and then uh, just uh, super glue it, you know, here, there, along a little bit. As far as the mesh, um, also at, uh, you know, your fabric store, Michael's craft shops or whatever, you get a roll of this stuff. It's a, I think it's called Thule or something like that. It's the stuff that they make, you know, wedding veils out of. And it is perfectly, um, pretty perfect or pretty good for simulating fencing once you actually get it painted. So what you do is you cut a piece off, glue it on there, you know, you cut it nicely and whatnot, and then uh, go ahead and like, trim it out. Now, what I've been doing is I've, I've been using super glue here. Got some Gorilla Glue, um, just sort of gluing it on a little bit. It does tend to sort of get a little patchy. You can see the shiny areas right there. Um, this one's almost completely dry, and this is going to be a smaller section, so I'm going to cut this sections on the bottom off and this is just going to be a regular fence um sort of like that big one i made out of the out of the styrene tubing and you can see how big that is compared to um you know compared to the chicken wire i think it that i think the chicken wire is a little bit more in scale so that's how i'm doing that and then again for my little pine trees come over here you can see i've Gotten a couple of these little pieces, oops, sorry, and uh, just little bits and bobs of super tree material, just basically gluing them on all over the place and then sprinkling it on with, uh, with the uh, 7 mil here, uh, 7 mil grass material, and then spray painting it a dark green. So... Yeah, so that's uh, that's how I'm making a fence. I think it's coming out looking pretty good. Let's go take another look over here. And again, hopefully everybody is having a nice Christmas. It's about 80 degrees here today. The dog is chilling out over here. Hey, Benjamin, come here. You want to be on the video? I know. Good boy. This is Benjamin. He is one year old in like two days. He's our new little corgi. Yeah, you're a cutie. So if you ever hear him barking on the videos, that's what he, <laughs> that's what you're seeing. Oh, while we're walking back into the layout over here, one of the other things, um, I had another uh, viewer comment about wanting to see some yard work and whatnot. And just because I don't have a whole lot of scenery over here, I really haven't done that. I also need to get 
a better light, like right here, that will illuminate this section of the layout um, to do better videos, because the only lighting is from the LED strip over here. But what I did start doing is I started to ballast the, uh, the tracks over here, got them all pretty much ballast up. Got to go back in and pull the nails and stuff like that and start uh, putting some ground cover on either side over here. Pretty it up, get a background and whatnot, and we'll have uh, our Los Nidos uh, yard, and maybe we'll include a little bit of uh, yard work, you know, uh, putting together trains and stuff like that before they actually head out across our bridge here. And then, uh, you know, down into Orange County. So let's take a final look at the fence here. I know I'm babbling on here, but it's a nice day. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Come on. And you will get a good look. I should just pull it out, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's stuck in the ground. Come on. There we go. Looking pretty good. I think it's a, it's a nice... Uh, nice facsimile and you can see the truck there for scale so it kind of looks pretty good and you can always chop some of the uh, you know some of the legs or whatever pieces off and on if you want to make sort of bigger sections or something like that but uh, easy way to make uh, you know chain link fence I think and I'm all about easy because uh, you know I, I want to go I want to do things I want to run trains that's the whole point of my doing this is uh, I, I love operations and that's what I want to focus on. Scenery is fun too, but, uh, you know, I want to get into running trains. All right, guys, I've babbled on enough. I think I'm going to go take, take Benjamin over to the beach for a walk or something like that. I know, it's, it's hard living out here in California, you know, in December. All right, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new, you made it this far. Don't forget to subscribe for more layout updates like this and uh, operations videos. Go ahead and check the channel on YouTube. I've got a couple of new playlists. I kind of divvied stuff up between, um, between uh, operations playlists and... Uh, sorry, getting distracted by the <laughs> Amazon guy because I'm getting more stuff in for the layout. <laughs> so, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah. Till next time, guys, take care. I'm going to go see what I got for the layout. That'll be in the next update. Take care, guys.